I, Mildred Geriston, am also known as Drag King Dread. I am a woman who likes to describe myself as many things. Some of those things are multi-spirited, gender illusioning, Haitian, American, fluid, anti-oppression, self-expressed, ancestor supported, goddess, and blessed. I created Dread through Mildred. We are one and the same. I am first generation born in Brooklyn, New York of Haitian parents. It took me a while to tell my mom about doing drag because I wasn't sure how she would deal with it. In Haiti, drag is probably one of the last things you would hear spoken about. In my performances, I use theater, dance, cultural history, and humor. I play with gender roles and social racial stereotypes to hopefully inspire my audience to think about the complexities of race, gender, and identity. This gender bending path has given me the courage to express myself freely in whatever way I feel I need to do. Hopefully, I inspire others to do the same, respect one another's lives, and be open to the beauty in our differences. It is natural to be different. Yeah, I think some people look at me, sometimes they're shocked. Sometimes before really looking at me, they'll say, sir, real quick, before knowing I'm a woman. But yeah, it's, you know, I'm used to it. And I shaved my head before I started doing drag. It was, had nothing to do with performing. I didn't know I was a performer yet when I shaved my head. I just got tired of doing my hair. About a year after I graduated from college, I was at a bar that always had drag queen shows. So they started having these drag king shows, you know, women playing with male gender. And there was this one drag king who had a really funny name. Her name is Buster Hyman. And that was her drag king name. And she went on stage and started doing John Travolta's uh, Night Fever. And I was watching her and I thought she was so sexy. And just seeing all the women performing drag, I thought it was very um, powerful to see them not putting themselves in any kind of box being very fluid with their performance, with their gender, with their sexuality. And I saw it and I had this vision and I said, I want to try it too. So I went up to Buster Hyman, that drag king, and I asked her if she would help me. So she came over to my apartment and helped me put on my first mustache. And I was looking in the mirror at the transformation and one of the first things I said was, where did that handsome man come from? Because I saw myself becoming different and it was exciting and it was scary at the same time. But things just started snowballing. Someone suggested I do Shaft, Isaac Hayes Shaft. So I entered a few contests and I started winning them all and getting more popular. And I started doing so much drag and I started feeling weird about it because I wasn't being my woman self anymore. And it was like I was losing myself as a woman. And growing up, I didn't love myself as a woman. I didn't like my body. I didn't like how I look. I didn't like my color. I didn't like my culture. And I needed to change that. And in my shows, most of my shows, at the end of the show, I would always strip down to a bikini bra and um, a skirt. And it was really important to me that I showed my audience that you just finished watching a woman perform, doing all this gender. I like mixing the male and female a lot, and I like the fact that I can be fluid in how I choose to express myself and that I don't have to be one way all the time or one way forever. And, um, 
you know, I don't like using labels, but if I had to use a word, it would be fluid, you know. Haitian Creole was my first language. It's interesting because in Haiti, there is a lot of voodoo. Voodoo. And it's gotten a bad name as black magic. And I don't believe that voodoo is black magic. I don't practice it, but I've read about it and seen videos on it. And what it is, is a rich um, experience of the divine you know, of the ancestors following and appreciating the spirits that guide and protect you. And I've seen some videos where people practicing rituals, in voodoo rituals, like they would be possessed by another spirit. But sometimes that spirit would be the opposite gender. So if a man, for instance, was possessed by a female loi, they call, or spirit, he would take on the characteristics of that woman and dress up like her and move like her. And there are women who've been possessed by male spirits, and they would take on the mannerisms of um, those male spirits. And that's how I felt about my show, when I would be dread that this male energy was so intense that I would be taken over sometimes by this spirit, but in a safe way. Moi, gagne un garçon, un dame. I have a man in me. Moi, gagne your femme, un dame. I have a woman inside of me. Moi, gagne tout le day, un dame. I have both in me. Nous tout get tout le day, un dame. We all have both in us. Say your benediction, bon Dieu banu. It's a blessing that God has given us. Pas jamblier qui côté ou sorti. Don't ever forget where you come from. Pas jamblier qui moun ou ye. Don't ever forget who you are. Reme tout moun. Love everybody. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's the characters I do in my show. That's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I do female and male characters. You serious? Yeah, they are me. Oh. <laughs> I did drag for a long time, for 12 years, and I've really brought a lot of joy to people. And that really makes me proud. I really wanted to open their minds up, their hearts up to diversity, not just in other people, but within ourselves. We're not just black and white, that we're gray. There are many gray areas, a spectrum of, of how we can express ourselves in so many delicious ways. My name is Mildred, and my name is Dredd. And we are a multi-spirited, Haitian-American, gender-illusioning, black shape, different, goddess, anti-oppression, open, non-traditional, self-express, blessed, gender-bending, drag-kinging, fluid, ancestor-supported, and after all that, non-labeling, woman. <laughs>